Do toxins get stored in fat? This is JJ Virgin, four time New York Times bestselling author, celebrity nutrition expert, and fitness hall of famer. I've been on a lifelong quest for answers to the toughest health questions. And now I'm sharing what I found with you. Welcome to Ask the Health Expert. MTM Coach from Instagram asks, do toxins get stored in fat? Hey, it's JJ, and I've got Dr. A. Lee Cohen with me to answer this question. She's triple board certified in internal medicine, rheumatology, and integrative medicine, and an environmental health specialist. And she's always been ambitious. She was even an EMT in high school. And she's a huge animal lover and lives on a farm with loads of animals. She'll be right back. Stay tuned. Hey, it's JJ. And have I got a gift for you. 20% off your entire order at my store. That makes it a great opportunity to stock up on everything you want to get and stay healthy. Just go to jjgiftforme.com to get started. That's jjgiftforme.com. So yes, in fact, many chemicals are stored in human fat, in our fat cells. And in fact, they're called lipophilic or lipid-loving chemicals, especially a class that was recently found over the last 15 to 20 years to be called uh, endocrine disrupting chemicals or EDCs. This class of chemicals, which includes chemicals from pesticides, from plastic chemicals such as bisphenol A, which was, and many people remember, were taken out of baby bottles in 2012, flame retardant chemicals that are added to our couches, um, uh, other chemicals that include chemicals in makeup, such as fragrance and different additives for um, antimicrobial processes like triclosan. So many of these chemicals, which are under the heading of endocrine disruption or endocrine disrupting chemicals, do actually live or remain very uh, quietly in the cells of our bodies that are fat, Um, whether it's fat stores in our abdomen, uh, whether it's our liver, which is quite fatty. Um, So one of the recommendations, and I had a patient recently ask me why she was not losing weight. And among all of her great healthy habits and her excellent diet, um, she was also storing her foods in plastic containers, um, which do in fact leach some of those plastic chemicals into the food that she's trying to store. And in fact, I said, why don't you try giving up some of these food containers that are plastic and maybe perhaps even give up nonstick pans, which contain uh, nonstick chemicals that are endocrine disruptors. And let's see how we do for the next three to six months. So in fact, you can actually either gain weight or maintain a heavier weight if you're getting a lot of these chemicals from even food packaging or cooking materials, um, not just from the chemicals in food, water, and personal care products. Exercise is a wonderful way to help release those fatty chemicals um, by shrinking fat cells when you're running, when you're doing any type of aerobic exercise that's sweating, and even weight loss can shrink those fat cells. So next time you're running, you're doing exercise, you're chasing after your kids or your animals, Um, Just think of it as detoxing through good old healthy anthropologic uh, aerobic exercise and using your body's natural detoxability um, to reduce chemical burden from these endocrine disrupting chemicals. This is JJ with Ask the Health Expert. I do this five times a week, so make sure you never miss a show by going to subscribe to JJ.com.